Hello everyone, welcome to SAIS. In the last video, I told you about the introduction of carbon and covalent bonding in carbon in other elements also. Now, one topic I want to share with you that is the allotropes of carbon. First, what are allotropes? The various physical forms in which an element can exist are called the allotropes. In allotropes, the physical properties, they are different, but they have same chemical properties. Now, in case of carbon, in solid form, there are three allotropes. One is diamond, second one is graphite, and third one is buckminster fullerene. So, I will tell you how diamond and graphite have different physical properties but same chemical properties. You know that diamond during metals and non-metals, I have told you that diamond is the hardest substance known. And it cannot conduct electricity. But graphite, that is usually grayish in color, diamond is transparent and shiny appearance. And graphite, that is good conductor of electricity. It is used as an electrode in many cells. And also, it is soft and slippery. So physical properties, they are different in both diamond and graphite. But when we burn diamond in oxygen, carbon dioxide will be formed and nothing is left behind. This means that diamond is carbon having symbol C. It's having symbol C. In the same way, when graphite that is heated in oxygen, then what will be the result? Carbon dioxide will be formed and nothing is left behind. And this means that graphite is also the form of carbon having formula, having symbol C. We can test it by lime water. It will turn milky carbon dioxide which is produced after burning diamond and graphite. This is a chemical test. So from this discussion, we deduce that diamond and graphite have different physical properties but same chemical properties. Now why there is difference in the physical properties? That is very important. This is due to the structure of diamond and graphite. So what is the difference that you should know? In case of diamond, each carbon atom in the diamond crystal, it is linked to four other carbon atoms. Four other carbon atoms. Carbon is tetravalent. So four bonds that can be formed around the carbon. So each carbon atom in diamond crystal is linked to four other carbon atoms by strong covalent bonds. And this will result in the formation of three-dimensional rigid structure of diamond, which makes it a very hard substance. 
So diamond is hard. It is due to its structure. I told you that it is bad conductor of electricity because all the four bonds they are formed around each carbon atom so there is no free electron in case of diamond that is why it is bad conductor of electricity now come to the structure of graphite graphite crystal consists of layers of the carbon atoms and each carbon atom in graphite is joined to three other carbon atoms by strong covalent bonds to form the flat hexagonal rings. So due to its structure and the two layers, the layers in the graphite, they are far apart. Covalent bonds can't be formed between them. They are held together by weak van der Waals forces. Due to this, these layers, they can slide over one another. And that is why it is slippery to touch. It is slippery to touch and so it can be used as a lubricant. This question can be asked, why graphite is used as a lubricant? So it is very soft and slippery due to its layer type structure and these layers they are held together by weak vertebral forces with due to this the layers they slide one over the other. Now the next thing that it is good conductor of electricity. Why? Because each carbon atom is surrounded by three other carbon atoms. So there is presence of the free electron in case of graphite. Due to this free electron, this is good conductor of electricity. So you can see the difference in the diamond and graphite altogether different. Diamond hardest substance, graphite soft and slippery, Diamond, bad conductor of electricity and graphite, soft and good conductor of electricity. Now the third form, these are two very old allotropes of carbon. Another solid form of allotrope of carbon that is Buckminster fullerene. This name is after the name of the scientist. It is an allotrope of carbon containing cluster of 60 carbon atoms joined together to form the spherical molecule. This will be a spherical in shape. It has the shape of the football. Appearances like the football. And because it is formed from 60 carbon atoms, so its formula is C60. 60 carbon atoms, they are arranged in the interlocking hexagonal and pentagonal form of carbon atoms. So, I have told you only about the crystalline allotropes of carbon. Amorphous forms, they are also there like uh, you can say charcoal, coke. These are the allotropic uh, forms also. But here we will discuss only the solid form of uh, carbon allotropes. So... Hope this is clear to you. Now the next topic I will take in the next video that is versatile nature of carbon. Thank you.